is it morning anymore? I don't think it is. Oh, the door's open. Good afternoon, everybody. It's, come on, focus. Sunday. It's been a bit of a rough Sunday morning, I'm not going to lie. I had a wee bit of a breakdown this morning. It was just the week catching up on me, I think. It's been a rough week, and as much as yesterday definitely helped with the distraction and being busy all day, this morning I just woke up feeling really, really crap about life and was not very happy and it took me a very long time to get out of bed. It's just this overwhelming feeling of all of the effort I'm putting in and I'm trying so hard and I'm absolutely getting nothing out of it. It's very infuriating it's not just uni. It's like every aspect of my life at the moment. I'm trying so hard and I'm putting in so much effort and, you know, the stuff that I'm producing and doing isn't bad, it's just not good enough. And it's so infuriating watching other people be successful when you're also trying really hard. You're watching other people work really hard and get their rewards and you're just kind of stuck there working hard and getting nothing. It's... it's sad. <laughs> so my morning's been a bit blue, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a bit of a downer day. On the plus side, the weather is glorious and this afternoon me and Chris have booked uh, a late lunch slash early dinner at the pub. So this will be our first time visiting a pub since like October when restrictions were lifted. We went out for dinner with both of our parents in October. I think that's the last time we ever did a pub because then it was too cold to go to a pub garden and be outside. And then obviously lockdown happened and it was closed. And so now they're open again. We booked a reservation to sit in the garden of a, a pub we really like in the countryside. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be really nice. I just, you know, I hope that my moods, but I think being out and about and appreciating the good weather will help. Although to top off my morning, my dad's ripped off his car. I don't know exactly what happened, but from what I heard, two cars in front of him braked really suddenly, which meant the car in front of him braked really suddenly, which meant he had to brake really suddenly and he went straight into the back of the person in front of him because they braked really suddenly. And uh, he's not don't really know what to do about that. There's nothing I can really do to help or offer my assistance. But I feel like I should, but there's nothing I can do. So that's another fun thing that we've got going on today. It's just been a bit of a shit morning with the mood, but the rest of the day should be better. The weather is beautiful. We plan on going for a, a mini walk in the sunshine. I've doused myself in sun cream, which is why I might be a bit shiny. Um, because I got a little sunburn on my face yesterday. There he is. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. You ready, slippers? Yeah. She's been so cute this morning. She was asleep on me. She was asleep between Chris's legs. She's just been sleeping in all the cutest positions, haven't you? Yeah. That's what we're going to get up to today. Cheer ourselves up. Do some fun stuff. Am I right? Yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Let's go. Hello. We have made it to our walking destination. It is very sunny, but there is a very chilly wind, which is very conflicting. So I brought a cardigan, um, just in case, because I think I will be chilly, even though we're walking about in the sun, because that wind is quite, quite strong and quite cold. How long do you want this walk to be? Oh, I don't know why. Well, because lunch is at four and it's half one. So we could do a long route and then drive over to... Yeah. We'll see how we go. Should we do the walk along the river? And then see how we're feeling about a snack? And yeah. then do a walk around the estate if we're up for after that? Yeah, sounds good. There's our plan for you, lads. Yeah. It's busy today. It's the weekend. It's sunny. And everyone's out and about. Oh my god. There's literally no one about. I feel like this is the first time we've gone on a walk and not really bumped into any other person. It's so quiet. I'm sorry about the wind. 
we are in the trees so hopefully it shouldn't be too horrendous but like honestly oh now i hear people god damn it oh please but yeah it's been a really peaceful quiet walk and it is really nice i think it's just because all the pubs and shops are open and people are like finally something to do other than go for a walk and me and Chris are like, finally, we can go back to doing our walks in nature that we couldn't do before because they were too crowded. Are you trying to... Chris has gotten a text that is a scam text. Well, we don't know if it's a scam text. Someone's texted Chris saying they found a phone and the last person it texted was Chris's number. But Chris doesn't well, have the not... number saved on his phone. Why didn't you get them to text that number or text from that phone that they found? Oh, I guess they wouldn't be able to... Well, then how would they have known? Oh, Chris, it doesn't sound good. I think you're being scammed. It's like a massive smudge on my lens. Oh, long wall. Wait, no, I'm thinking of long cross. Where's long wall? I don't know, Chris. Anyways. Yes. It's a very beautiful walk. It's a very nice sunny day. And, yeah. Having a nice time. Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. Come on in. You take the camera. You know, we had to get reinforced this is my, concrete. Um, uh Hobbit hole the front door. I just thought it was like a really unique touch to the house. And then yeah, we have this like one room space with this divider in the middle. So we have like this is like the kitchen bedroom, no, kitchen living space. And then on the other side, we have an identical space that we use for like the bedroom and the bathroom. It's uh, yeah, and then we have these teeny tiny windows. Do you know what this is actually made for? I feel like you don't. <laughs> I do, you told me before. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, a perfect spot for window for your machine guns. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, well fortified, can withstand most winds. I was just playing, Chris. Okay, you don't need to bring up the horrors of war. I understand what this is. <laughs> I found a pillbox and I was playing in it. Poor Chris sorted out his scam text. Is there something on my lens? Is that like a permanent scratch? I don't know if I can be picked up on camera or not. Anyways, on with our walk. Back in the car. I can't do Yorkshire accents with the glottal stop on the t. You just have to put t in front of everything. In Back in t. Yeah. In t. I can't do that. So we did our walk. We walked around the housing estate for a bit, which I didn't pull my camera out for. And then we kind of collapsed in the park for a little bit, which was so nice. The park around here is really lovely and it was really peaceful and chill and we were leaning against a bank while we were having a natter. Um, but then the wind picked up again and we got cold. So now we're in the car. We're gonna start heading over for our reservation at the pub because it's nearly time for our reservation and we're both hungry. This one isn't eaten today. Oh yeah, at all. At all. What an absolute numpty. I can't, I don't know how you would, I just, breakfast is so important to me. The idea of skipping it is like, sinful in my mind. It's important when I'm at work and I have to like really concentrate on things. But if I'm not, then I don't really... Oh, and we have a conclusion to the phone situation. So we thought it was a scam. Turns out one of his cousins lost their phone a really long time ago. And someone's just found it. That's a thrilling conclusion. Yeah, we weird. had to sit down and like text this guy back and go back and forth trying to figure out. Which my cousin actually knew in the end quite well. Yeah, his cousin knew the person who had found the phone, which is super coincidental. Your family is just a full of coincidences, isn't it? You just know everyone, okay? You just know everybody. It's bizarre. Or you have some kind of association with everybody. Yeah. It's crazy. But yeah, that's the thrilling conclusion to that. What we thought was a scam text. It looked really fishy, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Turns out it's just a guy trying to get a missing phone back and it was very, very difficult. But well done. Hopefully now they'll 
meet up and exchange. It's been a really lovely afternoon, it's been super peaceful. And now we're heading to a pub for uh, is it late lunch, early dinner. Yeah. It's more like an early dinner, really. A supper. Yeah, I think by the time we actually get off it, it'll be more like five. Yeah, that to me is. I mean, supper is another word for dinner, really, isn't it? Yeah. But for me, in my head, Categorically, supper has always been like a meal between like three and dinner time. So between word, three and five. Really supper. Sun. It's a weird word, isn't it? It doesn't sound very appealing. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to the pub for supper. <laughs> we made it to the pub. Oh, menus. Yeah, we just sat down, got our menus. I think we decided what we're going for. Have you decided? Yeah. What are you gonna get? The Buster Burger. The Buster Burger. It's a big ass burger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's like the size of your head, Chris. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to take this bad boy down, but... No, but uh, we're going to be... We, we, you're going to find a way and it's going to be great. And then we've got some cheesy fries as well. My god. Evening, everyone. We came back from our lovely... Pub... Supper? Did we decide is what it was? Yeah. And, um... Came home. Where we were sat, there wasn't really any wind. But um, getting out of the car, there was like a really strong gust of a really bitter wind. So we kind of came into the house and we were absolutely freezing. So we decided to hunker down in here and give you a snuggle, didn't we? Yeah. She's very awake. Are you being sarcastic? No, she is. She's going to be napping at this point. Well, we came in the room. So she woke up when we came in the room. And she did go for a little walk for a little while. And now she's just gotten settled back down. Who are you? Definitely not awake right now. Neither are you. And we're gonna go downstairs and grab some dessert like things because we were gonna find out if there was a dessert menu, but um no one really came over to us. Again, they were really, really busy today. Um, but it was really nice. Like they've got one of the nicest pop gardens, I think. Mm, yeah, it's really nice. And, you know, they are nice people. And, yeah, yeah, they were just very busy and we didn't really want to bother anybody. Just so. order creams, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff not available on the menu, and Chris wanted one of those things. Don't pull that, but it makes me feel sad because there's nothing I can do to fix it. How can I fix that? I can't. We'll just have some. There's some rhubarb pie downstairs. Mm. Have some rhubarb pie. Oh, the sun just sort of blaring into my eyes. This is a nice little family portrait, isn't it? It's a thumbnail. You don't like being in the thumbnail, though. I always choose a thumbnail that you're not in because you said you don't like it. I only put you in the thumbnail if it's like a special occasion. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, it's up to you. Mm, I'm not sure of the reason. Okay, let's go down and get some room more pie. Okay. I've got bare leg slips, what are you gonna do? Sit on the very small part of me that isn't bare, that's what you're gonna do. So yeah, I've gone for my head scratch and now I'm coming back to George. Isn't that right? <laughs> you're so cute. Hi! I love you. My hair looks a bit small, but it's been in a bun all day, so it's all sticky uppy. And this bar shampoo has like made my hair sticky, basically. Even though I washed it out, because I spent like a good few minutes standing there making sure it was all out. I really don't know what to do with that shampoo bar and throw it away, but I don't want to throw it away because that's wasteful. But what can I do with it? What can I do with it, slippers? Huh? Should I give it to you? Do you need a shampoo bar? Your nice fur. I'm gonna put nice fur as it is. You're right. You're right. You don't need it. Look at Chris's face. 
<laughs> and we didn't have dinner because we obviously ate really late. We had um, some rhubarb pie, which is very nice. And then we watched In Time, which Chris has been meaning for me to watch for ages. Is it one of your favourites? No, not my long shot, but... It's one that you like. Yeah. Which is a big statement for Chris Ward. Chris Ford doesn't like movies. I mean, it's not even like the fact I like the film. It's a good concept. It's just an amazing concept. Yeah. yeah. They basically turned time into currency. So people live with like a clock on their wrist and everything costs like a minute or a day or a month or whatever. It's messed up. And it shows you the reality of money really, doesn't it? Because if you replace immortality with billionaire, all the statements still stand. Yeah, if you replace that whole thing with, like, actual money, it would still... Yeah. I mean, the whole thing is just a metaphor for how shit or how terrible capitalism is, basically. There's, like, the line they repeat is, like, for a few to be immortal, many must die. But if you replace immortal with billionaire, for a few to be billionaires, many must die. It's true. Many people do die as a result of billionaires. And then he fought back the, like, Justin Timberlake, what a lad, fights back. He says, no one should be immortal if it means one person, even one person has to die. Again, if you change it as billionaire, no one should be a billionaire if even one person has to die. It's true. It's a good movie. It's a good concept. I think it's one of those, it's a concept that makes you kind of recognise how shit the system we live in is. Anyways, today's been a really lovely day. My dad riding his car off the side. <laughs> it's been a good day, hasn't it? Oh, lunch was so good. It was really good. A lovely walk as well. Lovely walk followed by a lovely pub supper. Followed by a cool night, movie night in. Mm. It's just been a good day. Despite this morning's breakdown. It's been an okay day. Hi gorgeous, are you so cute? Anyways, my hair looks gross, <laughs> it's so bad. I'm never gonna use that shampoo bar again. We are going to go to bed and end the vlog here. Thank you very much for watching everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you next time, Lepouche. Oh. Wait, let me focus on her little face. You're too dark, little girl. There you go. Night night, Papa. Night night.